Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and it is an exciting day, as always, when we get a new champion announced. It looks like Plarium is going to be trying to squeeze in another event uh, before the Christmas holiday season, uh, where we're going to be obviously getting a fusion like last year was Pixneal, uh, and, and we know that's going to be coming around like December 10th, December 15th or so, but they're going to be trying to squeeze in another fragment event before that. We didn't know. I know in my last, uh, kind of, kind of raid wrap up video, I, I was theory crafting, like, I don't know if they're going to try to squeeze one in or not, but it looks like they are. So, uh, I have purposely not read over the kit and we are going to react to it live with you. And I will give you my thoughts on the, the kind of the first impressions of Plarium's job on designing this champion and everything that goes into the kit. Plus, getting you caught up on everything going on as we head into the middle of the week here. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, so obviously the first order of business is diving into this new champion, and Plarium says this will be starting on Wednesday, November 24th, so about exactly a week from right now, they're going to be launching a fragment event, so remember sometimes they do fusions, sometimes they do fragments, sometimes they do hybrids, this is going to be a fragment event where you'll have events and tournaments that you need to get a certain level of points, and then you will acquire fragments that can be used to put towards summoning this champion, and this champion's name is Vildrax, is going to be a demon spawn epic uh, that is a support of the magic affinity. So not going to be a legendary. They actually did this exact same thing last year. They had they had a big uh, fusion event for Halloween, and then uh, which is what we just had for Vlad. And then after that, in between Halloween and Christmas, they did a quick epic fusion. So they're doing the exact same thing this year. Uh, they're squeezing a quick epic one in here in between ha uh, Halloween and Christmas. So uh, actually interesting to see them go the exact same route. But now let's go ahead and pull up the most important part, which is the kit. And um, uh, I have not looked at this. I, I cropped it in the screen, but I have not read any of this yet. I just want to point out that uh, it's really, really difficult to grade these champions with what Plarium gives us. Uh, we've been giving them feedback for a long time that we want to know their base stats. We want to know how the books shake out. We want to know uh, like like the cooldowns of the skills. So we have about, I don't know, 20% of the information available to us that we would need in order to accurately grade the champion. But we can at least read over the skills and see if they synergize and make sense and, and will be a good addition to the game. So that's what we're going to do right here. And first up is going to be the A1 Venomous Grasp or Verminous Grasp. Uh, I guess, first of all, uh, the aesthetics looks pretty cool. Uh, we got like a like a fly theme. Uh, so, yeah, we haven't really had a champion like that in the game, to my knowledge. That's like a, a, like a flying uh, insect type character. So definitely pretty cool there. Uh, we've got the A1 is going to attack one enemy two times. I like multi hitters. Each hit with a 30% chance of placing a leech debuff for two turns. So that'll probably book up to 50%. We'll get a couple books that are 10% debuff chance or something. Um... You know, it is what it is. A uh, leech is, is is good for some of those early game boss fights and, and clan boss fights and stuff. So, uh, and it is at least a multi hitter. I would probably make that a three hitter if it's just gonna uh, have a leech that isn't guaranteed like a hundred percent chance. Then for the A2, we've got Duke of Flies attacks all enemies with a 75% chance. I'm sure we can book that up to 100 of placing a Hex debuff for two turns. So obviously continuing to try and get more and more utility to the Hex debuff so we can start to use some of these champions like Rule the Huntmaster and Thea. And then we've also got the A3 is another AoE uh, that's going to be an 80% chance. And I'm sure you could probably book that up to 100 of increasing the duration of all enemy debuffs by one turn. So AoE debuff extension that's actually pretty good for an epic champion uh when hitting enemies under hex debuffs also a 60 percent chance you can probably book that up to like 80 of putting one of their skills on cooldown so okay we get debuff extension and then if they're under a hex we're also going to put something on cooldown so that has potential to synergize pretty well and, and be a pretty scary ability for an epic champion and then the a4 is a passive and it's going to be a 10 percent chance of stealing uh the heal each time an enemy is under a hex debuff and they are about to be healed interesting so that's a mechanic we haven't really seen in the game uh when an enemy is going to be healed uh we, we've got a chance to to leech that heal away from them and steal it to heal ourselves instead of them now, i would like that to be an aoe 
like uh, steal the heal and instead of healing uh, whatever healing was going to be done it's actually spread out to our whole team that would be super cool uh, does not work against bosses the amount heal will be the same as it would have been on the original target of the heal except the heal uh, except if the heal is based on the target's HP, in which case it will scale off of Vidrax's HP. So, okay, very interesting. I'm sure that was kind of difficult to code because there's lots of different, uh, lots of different ways to manipulate that and stuff. So, okay, and and it's also kind of a new mechanic. I don't think we've seen like stealing heals very often in raids. So at least they're trying new things. They're trying to work with the hex debuff. So all in all, this is pretty promising uh, as long as the the events are structured in a way where it makes sense for people to kind of go after this and really get this champion added to the roster. Which means, all in all, um, I'd give this guy aesthetically very cool. I'd say like a like an A- minus or an A. Uh, we're adding a, a new type of aesthetic champion to the game, and, and he looks pretty cool. I'm sure his animations are cool with the wings uh, flying everywhere and, and kind of looking like a fly uh, when we see that in action. And then also the kit. Uh, it, it's an epic champion, remember. So it's going to be cheaper to build than a legendary. Uh, so it's not supposed to be as impactful as a legendary. Uh, and at least it's going to be working with Hex and bringing a new ability to the game in, in terms of a chance to steal heals we get multiple aoe's we get debuff extension we get a multi-hit a1 uh so yeah i'd say like uh like uh in terms of what i see so far like a b plus i would maybe give the a1 a little bit of love that would bump it up to like an a minus or an a but uh yeah all in all i think pretty promising in terms of getting a, a quick fragment event here in between halloween and christmas so remember that will be starting exactly one week from now on next Wednesday. And as we move on to the other stuff going on in Raid currently, uh, I actually do not have any word from them behind the scenes yet on what this week's summoning event is going to be. It's going to be some sort of 10x or guaranteed summoning uh, event for a certain epic or, or legendary or something, but we don't have any word yet from Polarium on what that is. I, I Usually we know by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. So they probably wanted to get this new champion teaser out there today. And then I would assume in about 22, 23 hours, something like that, we will hear from them on what the this weekend's summoning event is going to be. And as soon as I know, I will get that forwarded to you as well. In terms of the shard rotation remember we just had two x ancients which means this week is going to be a, a, a 10x or, or guaranteed summoning event or whatever and then next weekend about eight nine days from now is going to be two x sacreds as long as plarium goes by the normal rotation then to keep you in the loop really quickly about CVC so you can prepare properly, our next CVC should launch in about six days on next Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, so in about six days, you should be getting a new iteration of CVC if you would like to plan things accordingly to double dip your points efficiently. And it's about that time where a lot of you are going to be getting towards the final boss of the Doom Tower. We've got about two weeks left on this current iteration of the Doom Tower. I am going to get a dedicated video talking about this boss and the thought process of what goes into it and a deep dive into my team just as like a like a like a too long didn't watch a spoiler type thing. This is the team that I used uh, to, to go up against the final boss. It was a full auto and about four minutes or so on clearing the final boss. And those are the champions I used and the stats. I'll leave that up there if you would like to pause, take a look anything like that but i will get you a dedicated breakdown video on that as well then as far as what is going on in game right now uh everything pretty status quo nothing too crazy to go over dragon tournament uh getting an epic book is, is not bad for 2750 and the dragon is not a bad one to grind you do get that speed uh sets set drops from the dungeon as well so not not, not no reason to really weigh a lot especially when we got events coming up for a new a fragment champion you may want to kind of prepare accordingly but tomorrow we'll be getting a fire knight tournament as well and a classic arena takedown so nothing super noteworthy there but then today on the events there is currently Currently an artifact enhancement that is live so not a bad idea to upgrade your artifacts and scoop up some of these uh some of these rewards in the bottom are decent so not a bad time to upgrade artifacts and then your dungeon diver is going to be ending today i would at least uh probably the main thing to focus on today is to make sure you get to 1300 points on your dungeon divers uh you always want to scoop up core hammers when they're like kind of realistic to acquire because uh very tough to, to stockpile those so focus on that today and then also we have a champ training live right now um see this is a little bit more difficult to get to this 5250 as opposed to the 1300 on dungeon divers so um yeah uh, and this is way too many points to do right before we're going to be getting a a new event launching next week so i uh, don't feel guilty about skipping that at all i would say the main priority is artifact enhancement and dungeon divers then I can head on to the shop for you and see if we've got anything uh going on in here that's worth talking about we've got 80 brews and then we're gonna go eight and five on the epic and lego tomes 
Okay, and then we're gonna go six and four on the chicken, respectively. Six, four, and that's everything right there. 2.19. So unfortunately, not gonna be a, a good one from me. But also, I just noticed that my offers are not color coding here anymore. Ever since I added the uh, the the feast and the barrel, I guess this isn't color coding properly. I'm gonna have to look at that. Sorry about that. But anyway, the the score is accurate. Two point one nine. Uh, gonna be a pass from me. Special progress pack is uh, thirty, and then we're gonna go boom. Uh, we're gonna go eighteen hundred energy, and then we're gonna go uh, twelve energy refills. Uh, now with events coming up, uh, stuff like this is is decent to, to take take note of as long as it's got decent value. Uh, 1.69, not gonna cut it though. The monthly pack grades out as about a 2.5 depending on which one you get. And uh, ooh, they're doing uh, more speed offers into the game uh, for five star, 25 bucks. This is uh, really pretty bad value the only people that are going to be buying these are going to be the uber whales but even the uber whales are probably looking for six star gear so this would be more like a like an early to mid game high spender would be in the market for this but for 99 percent of people this would not make sense in my opinion so that does it for today's wrap-up video. Definitely would love to hear what you think about the uh, the new champion. Remember, it is an epic. It's not a legendary. So we have to grade it less harshly, uh, especially versus somebody like Vlad, who is a void legendary. That needs to carry a lot of weight, and we need to grade that champion harshly. This is going to be an epic. So I bet the tournaments and events are going to be structured a little bit more realistic, a little bit more easily acquirable than it was for a void legendary like Vlad. So keeping all of that in mind when you grade the champion and react to it, would love to hear what you think down below if you agree with me disagree with me uh how you would grade it and what your first impressions are as well i love to hear that feedback from the community if you're watching this video right away i'm gonna head on over to stream and be hanging out with you guys for the next few hours talking about all this stuff going on and hopefully tomorrow i will be able to get you some insight on the 10x or whatever this weekend's summoning event is going to be and then also we have a bunch of kind of random teasers on like instagram and youtube and and things being sent to content creators and different things revolving around the new hydra boss plarium is really kind of spreading out their marketing on that and and, and trying this new uh, multifaceted teaser type thing today i'm going to try to compile all of that and, and get you a video pretty soon here uh giving you my impressions on everything we know so far and then when we actually get the official teaser we'll try to do a big sit down with all the creators again uh get like six seven of us and, and really get you full insight on on all of our perspectives like we did with the dupe system uh back when that was kind of announced and we finally got an official release from plarium and what that was looking like to be so yeah that'll do it for me on this one and would love to see you if you stop by and say hi on stream the link is down below in the pinned comment if you would like to but as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace